I quit. I quit. I got something from Gucci for forty dollars. Two items from Gucci that was priced at forty dollars each. If you love rose, you'll love this. the last couple of updates that I've made you guys will know that I picked up a second job working at UPS um, and I was a preloader there which is essentially loading trucks so now that we're all caught up um, I quit the job yesterday yes I quit um, so if you have been keeping up with uh, my latest vlogs uh, you will know that um, peak season has ended, we're in a new year, and the hours are just pretty slim, slim to none. And so I would go there, I would get up, I would get myself prepped, um, ready to go, and I would get there, and then I would end up volunteering to leave after a few minutes because they were overstaffed. And so um, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, it's, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of effort, and since I am trying to be more consistent um, with YouTube and, you know, and I have goals, I have plans, I have ideas, things that I want to do um, in 2023, um, that job was just, you know, kind of like a barrier. It was blocked. It was holding me back. Um, it did what it needed to do for the time that I was working. And I'm so thankful and grateful for you know, the extra money that I was able to make, the people that I was able to meet, the experience that I was able to gain, the knowledge. It wasn't just being there, um, you know, learning how warehouse works, um, but there were so many other things that I was able to learn, um, like the patterns and behaviors of consumers. Um, that was such valuable information. There were so many boxes from the same brands coming through over and over again. Um, and that helped me with even how I want to go into 2023 with investment. So there was such a wealth of knowledge that I've truly, um, I honestly and truly feel that I gained by working at UPS. So it was, it was not for naught because I know um, a lot of people, when I told them that I was working at UPS, they looked and they were like, you, you? But I really do feel that God had me there for a reason. And um, like I said, I learned so much. Um, I learned to work with, I mean, I experienced working with people from not just all walks of life, um, but people that are coming from different, um, all different types of situations and things, you know, and things. This is a job that will employ you, you know, regardless of if you have a record, they don't do like background checks and things like that. So you're working with some rough people and, you know, some people may be intimidated by that, but I have a heart after God and I just love on people regardless of, you know, whatever their circumstances are. And yeah, I stumbled across some amazing, amazing people that I know for sure I would have never met them had I not uh, worked for UPS. I met a lot of young people and I was able to encourage them and, and such. So, you know, I did end it on a good note. I did tell them that it was a very difficult decision because um, I absolutely love working with um, the team of people that I have built bonds with um, over the past few months and I was really looking forward to staying on there but it has to make sense and when it doesn't make sense you have to pick up and you have to move on so um, that's even biblical so you know you can't just you know stay stagnant just because it, it's a job it's a place of employment and I, I can't get comfortable in nothing like the last time I was there I only worked six minutes like you can't live off six minutes of pay you can't so, you know, thankfully, 
I do have another nine to five job um, that has employed me for over what, 24 plus years. And um, you know, for the most part, it's, it's stable employment, um, but I am looking to move and shake and do some other things. And so having that time freed up, you know, I, I'm so thankful that that my body is now on an early wake up schedule. So if I had to continue to get up at three, four, five o'clock in the morning, you know, I'm already set in a routine to do that. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the next chapter, whatever that may be, whatever God has in store for me. I'm, I'm honestly and truthfully looking forward to it. So um, welcome to the vlog. And uh, yeah, um, what are you guys doing this morning? What did you eat for breakfast? Um, I got up um, a little late today. Uh, I got out of bed late, but I did get up around seven-ish. Yes, let me fix this camera, because. Oh, I'm just gonna have to hold you guys. So yeah, I did get up at 7 a.m. and um, I needed to do something with this head so I cut my hair um, I put on clothes I got my put myself together um, so that when I pick up the camera I'll be presentable and so right now um, what I'm doing is um, I'm getting ready to start the work day um, the time has crept up on me so I'm 10 minutes um, before my start time for the work day um, I'm over here I just finished downloading an app called Evernote on my MacBook um, because I'm going to be documenting some YouTube outlines for um, some upcoming videos that I want to publish here on the channel. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, hopefully the start of this work day won't be too hectic um, so that I'll be able to somewhat multitask. And yeah, we'll see what the day brings. But I do have, um, you know, some videos that I want to hopefully um, get outlined um, so that I can record them you know so yeah I'm drinking my Nespresso coffee yeah so I measured out the creamer according to the milk frother that I have I have the Nespresso barista maker milk frother and I measure everything according to that which I which was the minimum amount of uh, creamer but for some reason when it frothed, it frothed a lot. So, yeah, frothed a whole lot. So I have another cup here with frothed oat milk or oat creamer. So, it looks like I'll be, I'll be forced to drink a second cup of gel. Uh -uh. This is right on point, it's so good. Alexa off. Yeah, so let's um so I got a couple of minutes before I start work, so let's put on a fragrance. Let's do that. Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the fragrance that I am going to wear today since I put myself together you know even though I'm in the house I'm probably not going to go anywhere today but um I'm putting myself together and I want to feel good smell good all that so this is what I'll be wearing today and um this is rose jam it's a body spray and it's by the brand lush and I will be layering today because I also have the perfume and let me show you what it looks like So this is, this is Rose Jam and it's sold exclusively at Lush, okay, and I love it. So I'm going to layer. So I have the body spray, I, I purchased the body spray um, like two years ago was when I stumbled upon this. I went into Lush, I saw that they had all these little spray bottles and it kind of reminds me of like the Moschino perfumes. Um, so when you first walk into the store, they have like um, like a whole wall of all of their body sprays and then all of their um, Edu perfumes. Uh, so I smelled this, I loved it. And 
I've been wearing it ever since. Like I'm down to nothing and I do have a backup spray, uh, spray bottle upstairs. I'm gonna use this until it's all gone. So I'm just gonna try to spray. Oh yeah, so we got one little spray on. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to go over top with, I'm gonna go over top with the actual perfume. This stuff smells amazing. If you love rose, you'll love this. Um, it smells so good. Um, I don't know if they mention what the notes are, but it, oh yeah, so it's a sweet fruity rose and vanilla scented mist that will leave you with a trail of admirers. And yes, I can honestly tell you that when I wear this, yes, highly complimented. Um, not talked about, not not talked about too much on the YouTube scene amongst african-american influencers um which is no surprise because a lot of i don't see a lot of us going into lush but um back in the day i used to like to go to lush to buy bath bombs and things like that their their stuff is all natural for the most part they use essential oils it smells really good um great for the skin and so yeah we have a lush at our local mall which is garden state plaza mall for me out here in bergen county and um yes i would often frequent the store to purchase these little spray bottles um, and I have about I think I may have like four or five of these um, different body sprays and all of them smell good and all of them will get you compliments so maybe I'll do a separate video on that if you guys are interested um, but today's fragrance yes it's rose jam and we love it recommend is that you 
Okay, so she gets one fourth of the pack per day. So like, I guess you cut it in like four sections. This was just basically an unboxing guys, just to kind of show you what you would get in like a trial pack of this um, or starter pack. Gracie, stop that girl. So yeah, you get a little baggie, you get this for the food and four packs, which again, they, they said it's supposed to last for 18, for 18 days. I'm sorry, 16 days. Okay, so it says to store the packs in the freezer and transfer them to the fridge to thaw the day before you'll, you'll need them. Packs take 12 hours to defrost or in a pinch, a few minutes under uh, running water is, is okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put one of these in the refrigerator to defrost. I'm probably going to try her on I'm gonna try her on the turkey first, and then I'll come back at some point and just kind of show you what I do. But I'm gonna put the others in the refrigerator, in the freezer. Put these in the freezer, and this one I'm going to keep out, and we'll try her on it sometime today. But are you excited, Pooh? I think she's gonna be excited. So. Um, We got a Zara haul. Zara haul, yes. Right, that'll be a great thumbnail. Just have to blur out my address. But um, yes, so I got this box in from Zara, guys. I said I was gonna turn the air freshener off, right? I ain't doing that. All right, let's try this again. So, D'Angelo. So. Yeah, um, like I was saying, guys, the in-store Zara sale is a hot mess. So, your girl went online and just took a peek. And there were some pieces that I saw that I liked. So, let's dive into it. So, here we go. And I just, I would... It took me a little minute to come back because it took me a little minute to come back guys because I did a reel on Instagram and so if you're not following on Instagram I don't know why you aren't make sure you're following me at so fashion please please okay so as you guys know they never ever put an invoice in here so I won't be able to give you a rundown of the prices but looks like I got four pieces because some of the stuff I put in the cart and then when I went back it was sold out so um, the first thing I got was this denim jumpsuit and they said that this jumpsuit ran kind of big so it it is stretchy um, and so I told you guys that I'll be going on a cruise in like it's like something days <laughs> in March I'll be going on a cruise and so um, when I saw this I was like okay this is a look for the cruise it's um it's denim it's soft denim though and I thought it would be really cute to wear I got it in a size small and yeah um, I forget how much it was let's see the regular retail price of course they have everything blotted out on here so you can't see anything but if I can locate the price, I'll just go ahead and put it on the screen. And I do apologize for my phone buzzing because like I said, I just uploaded a reel. And so now people are seeing it and liking it. So I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing I got, or the next three things are actually three pairs of pants. And so these pants here, they're like the baggy, like kind of men's like work, work pants type. Um, yeah, 
so I got them in this color. They were like hella cheap. Let me see if the price is on here. Um, no, <laughs> the price is not on here. Look, they actually have the price blotted out. So you can't even see. But I got them in this cream color. And then they also had them in this like nude color. The same pants. And they're like these slouchy kind of like men's style pants. And I want to try them on so bad. I am going to try them on actually. Um, I got these in a size small as well because I think they were all out of mediums. I have a same what size is this one? Oh God, I can't even see. Yeah, so these are a medium. This is a size small. Okay. Okay. And then lastly, guys, I got a pair of red faux leather pants. <laughs> Aren't they cool? So I got these, I believe I got these in a small. Yeah, I got these in a small as well because they said that they ran big. But they don't look like they run big. So let me try this stuff on so that you guys can see. I have the mirror over there, so I'm going to try them on and then I will go over to the mirror to show you guys what it looks like. So, yeah. Um, I wanted to pop back on here really quick because it was my intent today to, um, to record, to start recording a video where I talk to you about some of my, um, some of my like designer dupes, uh, bougie on a budget type stuff. <laughs> um, I want to do a separate video. I'm going to do a separate video. So just ignore that. But I wanted to pop back on here, guys, and um, show you something real quick. Um, did I actually bring it down here? Because you might have to wait. <laughs> I'm hoping that I brought it down here because I was meaning to. Oh, um, yes, I did. I did bring it down. So, I wanted to show you guys. I wanted, I wanted to, to show you earlier. I wanted to show you guys um, something that I picked up at Gucci. Um, this was in December, right before Christmas. So, um, yes, it, it was. It was either, no. No, this was right after Christmas. Actually, I can tell you the exact date because I have the receipt here in case you don't believe me, but I wanted to pop on here to share with you guys that I got some, I got something from Gucci for $40. Two items from Gucci. That was priced at $40 each. And I wanted to share that with you. Just in, you know, <laughs> just in case you don't believe me. Okay. So, I just wanted to, want to show you just in case. Okay. And this, this was at the Gucci outlet. Okay. This is the, the Gucci envelope. And this is the receipt. So um, I went to the to the Gucci outlet in um, Woodbury Commons. Uh, that's like New York. I think that's like, is it upstate New York? I don't know, but it's in New York. Woodbury Commons um, outlet mall is in New York. And I went there on, I think that's December 22nd. So it was just before Christmas that I went there. And as you can see, the two items, if you're gonna be able to see, but as you can see, I got two items. It was priced at $40 each, okay? Zoom in if you don't wanna believe me. <laughs> but that's the receipt, right? Let me show you the two items that I got. For forty motherfucking dollars. Okay. You can't make this stuff up. 
because I believe that these items are actually still on the Gucci website. So if you go to the Gucci website, you'll you'll be able to to see them. Okay, but they are these. They're these Gucci um, authentic Gucci like lipstick necklaces, lipstick holder necklaces. Forty dollars each. Look at that. Okay, hence the reason I got those red pants and I was just thinking to myself that I can probably wear a little red lipstick case with the red pants. And look at the chain, guys. The chain is so sturdy. It's so sturdy. It's so, so good. scored anything at Gucci for $40. I've never scored anything. This is the first time. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. I was so, so excited because the, um, the sales associate that was helping me, he was like, yeah, the red one's 40, but the white and the black one, they were like $89 or something like that. But even at 80 bucks, I think that this was, this was a good buy, right? You think? I think so. I think it was a good buy. But when he went into his little iPad or whatever he had, and he was like, no, actually, these are $40. I was like, give me all of them. And unfortunately, I got the last two in that particular location. But guys, I would have bought them all. Like, when I got to the register and she said that for both, it was only 80 bucks. I was so thrilled. I was so thrilled and excited. And um, yeah, I'm like, let me, let me just show my people. Let me show my people. Let me show my loved ones what I got. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to pop this, you know. I'll be styling it um, with outfits, but um, you know, they, they, act, they put it in a nice shopping bag. They, you know, they box it up the same way that they do everything else. Um, so they put it in the little dust bag and all of that and gave me the Gucci bag, the, the Gucci shopping bag and all of that. Um, but yeah, I was so shocked, surprised, amazed, thrilled, all the things to get those those little lipstick um, holders. So yeah, I just thought I would pop on here and, and share that with you. I do have some other things, but like I said, like um, I'll, do a, I'll do a really quick sneak peek of some of the designer some of the designer items including bob bougie on a budget items that i've gotten uh in 2022 that i really really love let me just show you one of the well one of them is these earrings that i'm wearing i love them they're very very cute so you know if you would be interested in that type of content then definitely stay tuned because the video is coming so i'll show you this one item and then also guys the this is just what my um my piercings are looking like right now so as you can see that's the conch piercing there and then these are the two on the upper ear so i don't know if you can see that you can see it very well but the piercings are looking so good um and i'm so happy to have them you know but moving on let me just show you these other items um like i said there's going to be a separate dedicated video where i talk about um some of my favorite things that i got in 2022 that i will be um kind of shop in my closet in 2023 because i bought these things and then i never wore them because you know i was working the two jobs so on and so forth but look at these chanelicas look at those aren't they cute so beautiful so i got those okay sneak peek sneak peek
Next up, off white. Next up is an ear cuff. just a sneak peek of just the jewelry that I got from my plug but I want you guys to stay tuned because it's exciting I think that I finally got my mojo back and I'm excited about bringing content to this channel and it's gonna be sick so yes all of this stuff that I've been doing and the things that I've been getting I've been keeping it all to myself but I'm finally ready to share it with you guys so yeah I'm pretty dope but yes there'll be a separate dedicated video where we not only go through some jewelry pieces we're gonna go through shoes apparel blazers tops everything and I'm truly excited about it so I hope that you are too yes okay so i think i'm gonna end it here um we talked about the piercings we did all of that so i think i'm going to end the video here guys um if you've stuck around this long i hope i hope that you click the subscribe button and that you've also clicked the notification bell so that you never ever 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 miss an upload from your girl because she's worth it Alrighty guys, so peace out and I will see you in the next video.